guys, we're going to look at uh, simplifying some uh, equations. So here we go. So my stabilizers, and um, I've decided I want to bring my x's here, or have my x's on this side, my numbers on this side. So if I want just my x's here, I want to get rid of this two. It's a plus two, so I get rid of it by minus and two. Think about it this way: three x plus two minus two is just three x. Now, if you do that to one side, I have to do it to the other. So that equals x plus 8 minus 2, which is plus 6. Likewise, I want to just have numbers on this side, so I'm going to get rid of the x. So I'm going to minus an x, because it's a plus x, I'm going to minus an x value. So x plus 6 minus x is just 6. If I do it to this side, I have to do it to the other. So 3x minus x is 2x. Now 2x is 6. So I want to divide this by 2, because 2x divided by 2 will just give me x. That's what I want. Just by this side by 2, which will give me x is 3. Okay? Right. This one, we just have to multiply it out first. So 2x minus 6 plus 5x minus 5. Can you show your signs there? Equals 3. Okay, I'm going to have my x's to one side, numbers to the other. So I'll keep my x's here. So I'll just simplify for us. 2x, 5x is 7x. Minus 6 and minus 5 is minus 11. And that equals 3. So 7x minus 11 is 3. I want to get rid of this minus 11. How do I get rid of minus 11? Uh, add minus 11 to it. Think of it this way. 7x minus 11 plus 11 just gives me 7x. If I do it to this side though, I must do it to the other, which will leave me with 14. So 7x equals 14. Again, divided by 7, divided by 7, so x equals 2. Okay? This should be easy. Right, let's have a look at this one. Fractions. They're different denominators. Can we find a common denominator between 5, 10, and 2? I'm going to go with 10, because 5 goes into 10, 10 goes into 2, 10, and 2 goes into 10. So how many times does 5 go into 10? Twice. And that's x minus 2 on top. Plus. It's a plus there. How many times does 10 go into 10? Once. And we have 2x minus 3 on top. Equals, because of the equals there. 2 into 10 goes 5 times. And a 1 on top. Okay? Now remember I said, when we're solving, okay, so not when we're simplifying, when we're solving, when I want to find out what x is, if it's all over the common denominator, I can forget about it. Forget about that common denominator. All I'm interested in is the top line. And I'll multiply it out. So 2 by x is 2x. Two, 2 by minus 2 is minus 4. Plus 1 by 2x is plus 2x. My plus 1 by minus 3 is minus 3, and that only equals 5. And again, now I'll just uh, tidy it up. So 2x and 2x is 4x, minus 4 and minus 3 is minus 7, and that equals 5. Okay? Um, I'm going to bring my x's to this side, so it's 4x minus 7, so plus 7, and get rid of that minus 7, do it to both sides. 4x equals 5 plus 7 is 12. So 4x is 12. So if I divide by 4, I just get what x is. If I do the same on the other side, 12, 12 by 4 is 3. So x is 3.